everyone, how you doing? It's Emmy Hall. Thank you so much for joining me here on this awesome episode where I get to come back to my home state, beautiful Southern California. I mean, most of the time it's beautiful, but sometimes maybe not so much. Anyway, I'm here with one of the most iconic vehicles that we've ever seen, the 2013 Volkswagen Beetle. And now, after a year, it's in a convertible. I'm so excited about this. Now we've got a couple of different versions of this car. We've got a 2.0 liter turbo, which is this one, 2.5 liter and the TDI. Plus they've got some special design surprises. So we'll talk to a designer and we'll give you guys a scoop on that. All right, zero to 60, let's see what she can do. Traction, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, girl, come on, girl, let's go. And there's 60. So, here we are, beautiful California lifestyle, except it's been raining for the past three days. Um, I will get this top down for you, I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, the Beetle Convertible comes in many, 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 many different iterations. You can get a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated. I'm in the 2.0 liter turbo. There's also a TDI version. Now the 2.0 liter turbo is gonna knock out 200 horsepower, 207 pound feet of torque. Turbo lag, let me see, I'm in third gear right now at 60. Oh look, there it is. It's very responsive. The steering on this car is electrically assisted, but it's not super lightweight at parking lot speeds and it does weight up really nicely in the corners. And another thing that's nice about the turbo version is that uh, the suspension is a sport tuned suspension, but it's not so stiff that it's gonna make it um, an uncomfortable ride for your daily driver. I mean, here on PCH, it's not really the smoothest thing on the face of the planet and I feel perfectly fine, very, very comfortable. Um, was able to get it up in the twisties just a little bit, but like I said, it's raining and it's wet, so I'm not pushing this car too hard, but understeer seems to be at a minimum. Uh, you can get this car in a manual transmission. Yay! Six-speed manual transmission or the uh, the DSG. Now, you all know how I feel about manu manumatics, but I will say that uh, the DSG gearbox, if you're gonna go with an automatic, is one of the best that you can get. Uh, you know, PDK, the DSG, they're all just very fantastic. They're super click on the shifts, or super click. <laughs> they're super fast on the shifts. So thankfully, the automatics in this car, uh, they still will give you uh, some driving pleasure. Not as much as a manual, you should always buy the manual, always buy the manual. Um, but you know, you're not, you're not missing too much if you get that DSG. EPA fuel ratings for this car in the stick shift are 21 in the city and 30 out on the highway. And you'll get 21 in the city and 29 out on the highway in the DSG. Now I know with convertibles, uh, a lot of times you guys don't like them because you do lose a little bit of rigidity in the chassis. Volkswagen of course has anticipated this and they've given you actually um, a very, very stiff chassis in this car. The A pillars are reinforced. They've got some uh, cross bracing, which really helps so that there's very little cowl shake in the car. Um, additionally, uh, if you find yourself rolling over, which I've never rolled a Volkswagen before, check my YouTube channel, um, uh, some roll bars will pop out across the back so that uh, your backseat passengers will remain safe, secure, and sound in the car, although I don't anticipate rolling this car today. Today. But for me, the thing about this car is just the heritage behind it. I'm a huge air-cooled freak. And when they redesigned this new, new Beetle, they looked at the 1949 Type uh, Type 15 Beetle. So you've really got a flatter roofline, a more upright windshield. Um, and I just love that they're kind of embracing their heritage because it's just such a long heritage and Volkswagens are kind of love the world round for just being an awesome, cool, fun car. And for me, that's really what speaks to me on this car. It's much, it evokes much more of an emotional response than uh, a lot of the performance factors on it. Now, the performance on this car is great. This turbo is a kick to drive. There's not a lot of lag in it, like I said. And uh, it's just fun, it's fun, it makes you smile. Even out here in the rain and this poopy weather, it's just, it's fun, it makes me smile. So I'm here with Andres Valbuena, and he is the product manager here at Volkswagen. And I know that you guys have some couple of some really cool design elements that harken back to the 50s, 60s, and 70s. What can you tell me about them? 
Well, with the launch of the new convertible, we really wanted to make that connection back mm -hmm. to the heritage, back to the air cool days. So the design guys came up with something that was special and makes that connection even further. So the 50s has that black exterior with the black heritage wheels with the big chrome cap and the chrome mm -hmm. rings uh, and then the beige leather sports seats inside. So you have that black and beige combo. Uh, the 60s is denim blue with mm -hmm. the blue and black leather seats. So again, something really cool. And then the 70s is my favorite. It's that elegant toffee brown with the beige top and the beige interior. So I it's all designed mostly. Yeah, I think it's so cool that you guys have actually, not actually, but you were really embracing your air-cooled heritage like that. The 50 is my personal favorite because I love the throwback wheels. I just, they're fantastic. Yeah, so. those heritage wheels. And they're alloy wheels. Even though you look at them, they look like steel wheels. Uh -huh. They're actual alloy wheels. Oh, cool. So I can like maybe rub them against the curb a little bit and I won't get a ding in them like yeah. I did on my old Volkswagen. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah. Um, enjoying my great time here in the Beetle uh, in beautiful, sunny Southern California. No problem. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for having me. The 2013 Volkswagen Beetle starts at just under $25,000. And if MPG is your bag, check out the TDI version. You're gonna get 41 miles per gallon out on the highway, and that one fully loaded with the Fender sound system and navigation is just over $31,000. Look, this car is so much fun to drive. It's got a lot of history behind it. I love my time in the turbo, and it's gonna go on sale in December. So if you're looking for fun, check out the 2013 Volkswagen Beetle. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emmy Hall. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay! Hey, if you want to find me on the interwebs, you can check out my Facebook page. You can check out my Twitter page. You can also join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and leaving me your comments. I read every single one, so be nice. Talking to you, be nice. You know what else? Roadfly is also on Facebook. We're posting up a lot of new pictures, so check us out there too, all right? Have a groovy day. We'll see you later. Well, I can't travel with laundry baskets, but here you get 7.1 cubic feet of space. Now that is enough for one Emmy Hall. Check it out. Tons of room. Now, how am I going to get out? Why do I do this to myself? This was a really bad idea. Ta-da!